This content is for kids. It's not for kids. No, isn't that what I said? No, it's not for kids. If oh. you are 13 years or younger, no. this is not for you. <laughs> Do I have to kill somebody in order to actually make that point across? No, man, you don't have to kill Wait no a one. second. Oh, no, 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 no. If we return to our planet, the High Court may well sentence you to torture. Greetings! You're watching Septum Sin vs. the World. I'm Septum Sin. I'm here with Kotobuki Jake. Hey. And we're here to show you what. Well, I guess it's me. What I got. <laughs> right. Show me what you got. I want to see what you got. Oh boy. But, um. I got a rock. You know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Would you be interested in a screener copy of Earth Girls or Sleazy? <laughs> A screener copy? It's a screener well, copy. It's more Direct like from just the... a... Uh... Well, when you're a small budget director, right. a screener copy kind of looks like that. <laughs> well, did you say this is a 2021 release? I don't think so. That's an older one. Oh. That's a fun one. <laughs> yeah? It's fun. Lots oh. of boobies. Ooh. <clears throat> Sounds fun. Because when I told him I have a copy of it, he's like, oh, well... Give that to somebody. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. I suppose so. So there you go. Yep, I've got the uh, I've got the real one over there somewhere. It's under E. Well, for Earth. Hmm. Let me see. Here it is. I can't show the cover because of obvious reasons. Uh, okay. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Two reasons to be exact. <laughs> but I've got a whole bunch. I said I'll, I'll get some ones that might be fun to talk with Jake about. Cool. Since I got him here. <laughs> right. The first one is one that I know that you like pretty well, mm -hmm. but a lot of people did not like this year, and that was the Eternals. I finally got ahead and I broke down and got it. Cool. I didn't bother with the 4K, even though it could look good in 4K. Uh, I just didn't want to pay the extra money. Hmm. But this will work fine on Blu-ray. Still get all the nice uh, deleted scenes. Mm -hmm. And essentially it's about a, a group of people. And they are... Well, they're sent from space to protect Earth. And they do so for a very long time. And then they find out why. <clears throat> and that creates conflict. Yes. It's, I think it's relatively fun. It's uh, done by best director of last year, Chloe Zhao. It's not quite Nomadland, <laughs> but it definitely tries to be much artsier than the typical Marvel film. But it's much more action-oriented than I expected from her. So, yeah. it's a little bit, it's an in-between, a meta in between Yeah. And I thought it was really good. That's actually my favorite of the Marvel films that I watched for 2021. Oh, isn't that something? <clears throat> I liked it better than Shang-Chi. Oh. See, I definitely enjoyed, uh, in terms of enjoyment value of the four Marvel films, it was probably the least enjoyable, <clears throat> but it still had a great deal of enjoyment value to it, uh, especially um, uh, Kim, uh Kamal Nanjiani's uh, vassal. I can't remember either character's name offhand, but his his uh, assistant director, shall we say, uh, he was hilarious. Um, and the film overall is very good. It's probably it is probably one of the best Marvel films from a quality it's, level. Um, I did forget about Spider Man. Yeah, but, uh, I don't know why I always group them as Sony, even if it well, is MCU. Spider Man's tricky. It is MCU, but Sony does get to wave their banner. So I did like yeah. Spider Man better than yeah. this, but that was a good one. Shang Chi and Black Widow. Mm -hmm. No, they don't. 
They don't come close to this. I don't know. I loved Shang Chi uh, more than I expected. <laughs> Black Widow was the weakest link, but it is a damn good action film. I mean, and again, Yelena Belova kicks ass. <laughs> and uh, uh, so you know, fairly good. Yeah, this is a fairly weak year. Uh, considering Marvel came into a, like, they were super strong going into the end of mm -hmm. the Infinity Gauntlet stuff, but still. Well, they also, it's kind of interesting because they, they tried really branching out into really new directions, but they also spent much of the year on TV series, and those have mostly been good, you know, but that may have taken some of the focus that they could have put in the movies, I guess. So I've gotten a whole bunch of new gaming mm -hmm. movies, and I still want to collect more. I want to get, like, that's one thing I've just really liked to collect is tabletop gaming movies and stuff. And I got this one called The Gamers, mm -hmm. Two Realms, One Adventure. It's only a 15-minute one. I can't remember. The director who did this had some other things that he worked on that were actually a little bit bigger. And um, it's only a 15-minute short film, but it's really good. I mean, they basically make it very fast-paced. The game is going on like this, and they go right back into the action. And it's not high, high budget, but definitely higher budget than one's used to for a gamer's movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really intense. And there's something about this weird curse die thing. Mm. <clears throat> I feel like it was supposed to be something more than what it was mm -hmm. and just kind of ended there hmm. it's like the, even the way they say it is like when somebody's uh, mysteriously injured during end game battle they suspect that the dangerous link between the magical object and the game and the world the game world is at fault and you know this is kind of like this could have been a much longer thing could have been a full movie <clears throat> mm -hmm. Other than that being more fast-paced than it should be, I think it was really good. I mean, it is kind of weird to think about anything in an in a RPG <coughs> game uh, getting done in 15 minutes, but you know. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm sure... You, I, don't, I doubt you've heard of this one. You've probably mentioned it, but that's probably... Actually, I didn't mention this one at all. Oh, okay. But I've mentioned the other two. Hmm. Okay. Game Master, Game Master, what have you done? Hmm. Uh, I saw this on eBay looking for gaming things. The only thing left on eBay was a VHS copy of this. Hmm. And nothing of the second film. Hmm. So this was one of those that was probably uh, carried around at a con. And just shown there and then never left. I looked up this Breakfast of Demons site and some of their websites still there, but it's old and it hasn't been used in ages. Hmm. They have a YouTube channel, hasn't been updated in ages, which is kind of sad because this stuff was rather fun. They used a Boglin in it, if anybody's familiar with Boglins. And the GM is short a player. So he makes a contract with Hell to summon a demon. To fill in the seat in the role of paladin. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Hence the cover there. <laughs> hmm. The demon's not too happy about being a paladin of Jesus Christ, by the way. <laughs> that is kind of funny. But it was rather fun. It's not the gamer's level good, but it's still really good. Very hmm. enjoyable. I liked how they did the effects in this. Some people said the effects were not as good as the gamers. I disagree. This was just as good as the original gamers, if not hmm. better. Maybe not as good as Darkness Rising, hmm. but better than the gamers. <laughs> so. mm -hmm. One I hope to eventually, next time I have a double header, I'll probably do this in the sequel. Cool. So, sequel Dungeon Rubber. I mean, I do like this. I mean, look at that. It's still pretty good quality is the mm -hmm. uh, thing made here. I mean, I like the covers. Essentially, after being banished to hell, the um, demon gets quickly, uh, quickly starts missing his time gaming. 
and finds his way to escape from hell so that he can once again reclaim the position of Paladin. And rule the mythical world once again. <laughs> it's again, it's very fun. They have some minor special features on this. I, I was very impressed with these. It is sad that nobody really has heard much mention of Ask Brittany because sometimes she goes to cons. She had no knowledge. Mm. A lot of people couldn't find it, find any mention. <clears throat> Sounds fun. I'm just a sucker for this type of media. Speaking of older media, Red Dwarf, mm. season 12. Mm. Almost got a complete set of Red Dwarf. Nice. You've seen Red Dwarf, right? I saw bits and pieces. It's all of them as the android, essentially. Yeah. I mean, I think when you were watching it initially, I watched a couple episodes, but, yeah. It's a fun to. British show. Mm -hmm. I know you're a fan of British comedy. Oh, yeah. So. I do want to see it. It's just, you know, part of it's the friggin' expense of trying to get the whole thing. Part of it's, yeah. They really need to just release a, a Blu-ray set now that they've got all of, mm -hmm. it, all of it out, including the new stuff. They've pretty mm -hmm. much finished with it. I would like to see them do a Blu-ray set like they did with Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Mm. That would be great. Just a nice condensed set. Mm. I have not seen... Obviously, I have not seen the season yet. I've watched 10 and 11. But I haven't watched this one in the end movie. <clears throat> so. <sighs> Let's talk about Dead gentleman, or zombie, uh, zombie orifice. orifice, or and their one oh, sorry, hit die orifice. series oh, with uh, Crushmas. Mm -hmm. I've technically ordered season two and three off of their site, mm -hmm. but they haven't shipped. It's been like two months, mm. but um, then again, they've been kind of crushed since the pandemic. But I do have this one, which is pretty cool. Hmm. Uh, and I have pretty much all the first season of this and uh, their Christmas one. I, I just, I, I like their products and it's kind of cool to see mm -hmm. it. I do hope that season two and three do mm -hmm. get shipped. I need to go there and I check don't on think I'd even, I don't even think I remember seeing that last time I was on their site. Yeah, it's a, uh, this one's out of print. <laughs> uh. So... Hey, Rosie. And though I've asked for that one, they only, they said, this is the suggested donation for it. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, eh. Not, not on the computer. Not on the computer, cat. Not on the computer. That's right. There you go. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Don't, 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 don't. Camera, camera. And okay. computer. <laughs> you have to, don't you? <laughs> well, here's one I know you'll want to talk about. Mm. Fargo, season three. Ooh. Now, I don't... I think four has been finished, maybe? I've lost track. But they haven't... This is the last physical release I saw, and this is out of print. Okay. When I got it, it was out of print. Mm. Which is kind of sad. I really like the covers that they mm. do for these. Yeah. And I've heard it's a good series. Mm -hmm. I just haven't had time to lay down into a series like that. Right. And, I mean, 520 minutes. That's a lot of time. Indeed. I still haven't started watching Braveheart for this week, and I may just have to go off a of memory because that's a lot of time to get yeah, to. It's a friggin' long movie, and I'm very tired. So, but thank goodness I've watched Braveheart about six times, so I've seen it enough times. Yeah. But, Fargo uh, is very definitely on my to-do list. I just don't know when I'll get to it. Out of all of Oops. them, I think I figured you would be the one who would be right there. It would be a priority list. Well, again, time. Yep. Oh. And I think I only have season two. I need to get the other seasons. Actually, that's one I would figure you could get your brothers in on. You think? Maybe. Do you like the See, movie? Oh, there. Yeah, but... Well, I don't think... 
One of them did. Um, okay, so I have one brother who is very particular about what he will watch and his mood dictates what he'll watch on any given time. But it's it's more of the tone of the movies. But he will surprise me with the things he'll watch. The other brother, it has more to do with the content. And he downright shocks me with the things he will watch. <laughs> but it's like, there are times where there are safe bets, you know. Like over the weekend, I, I wanted everyone to watch Encanto. I ended up watching it with Mom because the one brother had zero interest in mm. it. And I'm like, you're missing out. You know? Encanto is a good movie. It is a great film, but... Yeah, but then they both sat down and watched Scream with me, so go figure, you know. <laughs> Scream was a fun movie. It was. The new one, of course. Yeah. Well, the, the old one's a classic. <laughs> the new one's great. Well, I do kind of like that picture yeah. on the back. It almost looks like a Harry Potter type thing. Right? Almost, yeah. <laughs> All right. I got a game. Video Ooh, game. Ooh, a video game? This one's for the Xbox One. Or Series X, really, mm. as well. Chris Tales, which mm. is an RPG done in a very beautiful art style. I mean, mm. look at that art style. Yeah. And that's how the game looks. Huh. You can see on the back. Um, Interesting. Maybe you can because... Yeah, yeah, I can kind of see it. But it's very cartoony art style. I've tried it on the Switch, and I returned it because the Switch is so slow at loading it. Mm. But on the... I've, I've done this on Game Pass... Because mm -hmm. it was on Game Pass for a while, and the load times are very smooth. If you're going to get this, get it on PS5 or Xbox Series, mm. series X, because you're doing yourself a favor. Mm. Um, and this dropped to like 10 bucks, So nice. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I can afford that. And a good RPG, who knows whenever I'll get to it. Mm -hmm. I've been playing the same one since February. Mm. And I'll probably be still playing it by this time next year because it's a large game. <laughs> mm. But uh, you never know. Right. It's a cool looking game. It's a lot of it's like, it's about time travel. You get mm -hmm. these time crystals and you're in the present and you have this like divide like here and here and like a triangle. Mm -hmm. And then on this side is the future and that side is the past. And you can kind of move yourself back and forth between the two to solve problems and to work mm. on situations. Like you could plant a seed in the past, and then in the future it's become a full-grown tree. Mm. So it's kind of a cool thing. Mm -hmm. like that. Very cool. So one I think you'll find amusing, that Dane highly encouraged me to get, is the Alice in Wonderland, an adult musical comedy. <laughs> which uh, is the limited storybook edition. Oh, very nice. This one has the uh, edited and unedited version. So you've got the XXX version, because it's a porn. and uh, it's. Uh, but there's also an edited version that adds all the porn scenes out. Yeah. And Dane says it works both ways. And he says mm. it's like it's pure gold. So I will... Do I like the cover. Yeah, I want to see that. That cover is very fun. <laughs> You're right. I mean, you know. Good times. Hopefully. Curiouser and curiouser. Now, I know you'll have something to say about this because you watched the film. And that is Bunny, oh, the killer God. thing. <laughs> the, uh, it is the X-ray, limited X-rated pussy edition. Oh, dear God. Um, you can see why I had to cover that. Yeah. And when the plastic wrap comes on, there's a carrot covering this, which I find hilarious. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of disappointing that you lose that when you take the plastic off. So, essentially, Bunny the Killer thing is about this, uh, dude who gets changed into a really horny rabbit. Thing. That thing that goes and kills people. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, and it's creative ways. Well, I don't know how creative it is. He basically just rapes him to death. Yeah. It's one of Dave's favorite movies. 
Go I, figure. When I knew Dave was going to do this, because he gave me, he, he told me way in advance, around the time you did Gosford Park, he's like, yes, I'm going to have uh, Jake see this movie. So I was able to look it up, and um, somebody was actually selling their copy of this for $25. Which, considering as it's, they only made a thousand of these, yeah. that's and actually that, a really I will good admit, thing. that is a cool looking case. That is a cool yeah, looking a item edition. there. Yeah. I need to actually watch some of the special features on it. Yeah. Uh, I just. Maybe uh, it'll help you get some appreciation for it or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That was easily the weakest of this year's choices so far. But, you know, and, and that is in, that is counting Titanic, The Legend Goes On. No, no, they may, they, a lot of people might say Mariah was. Uh, from the <laughs> well, <way>. they're <laughs> wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, this one is one I watched today, and it is potentially a Versus Award nominee. Ooh. Which is the movie Sharks of the Corn. Okay, are we talking strong potential or? <laughs> Maybe for the low budget feature. Maybe. Okay. So, there is a serial killer going around with a uh, fossilized set of shark teeth. Okay. And he's murdering people with it by going like this to them. Okay. And I'm sorry, but. You would break it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, by doing that. But apparently, he's a really strong shark teeth, and then he buries them in his cornfield, mm. which is now overrun with sharks. As you do, as you do. So these sharks are killing people, but the mayor of the town knows it's harvest season, and we can't close the cornfield. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez! The most okay. popular time of the year. <laughs> so yeah, it wow, sounds a bit corny to me. The biggest issue I have with it is it is slow. Yeah. Um, okay, it says here eighty-three minutes. Uh huh. That is a lie. Uh huh. It is actually an hour and forty-five long. Now, is that 83 minutes? No, not quite. No. <laughs> and to tell you the truth, if it was 83 minutes, I think that a lot of the crap would have been cut, and it would have been hilarious. And it, it, was, it was still hilarious in parts, but it could have been better if it was cut down. How is it on the um, visuals, the violent aspect? Oh, it's, it's hardly worth writing home to about the... the about the visuals. Okay. It's like, you know, CGI blood and stuff. Oh, okay. So you'll be you'd be able to watch it fine. Okay. You've seen much worse than this. You watch this. <laughs> to my eternal shame. You can technically watch this and not have any issue. <laughs> okay. So I've got two things here which I know that you'd probably be somewhat jealous of me having. Because they're both Anaplex titles. And I was not going to show <sighs> these off unless you were present. Okay. Because I have nobody else to admire it with. Who ain't going to admire it? So the first is Nisekoi. Ah. Uh -huh. Now that's a pretty cool one. That is. And I, I kind of like how the cases are done there. Right. And unlike the previous release, which is very out of print. Yeah. Um... It, and you got the whole previous release. Yes, I was PO'd. I got a great deal on it. Only to find out, oh, it's just the first season. And the yeah. OVA is on this. Yeah. So, ten years, uh, Raku made a secret promise with a girl that he met that they would mm -hmm. get married when they reunite. Mm -hmm. Since then, he never let go of the pendant she gave him. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Um... So, you know, uh, this has 32 episodes mm -hmm. and all four OVAs on it. So this is the whole, I think. I think you skipped one of the main conceits of the movie, which I, uh, series, I mean, 
which is kind of fun, and that is that they are the, <laughs> they are the. Well, That's the only explanation they get. They are the scions of rival gangs, and they're forcibly betrothed to one another to keep the peace between the gangs. And, of course, it turns into a harem romantic comedy where he, hey, they kind of start falling for each other. But also there's all these other outside factors. Promise girls out the wazoo, it turns out. And Season 1 does a very good job of adapting the manga, but to a point. <laughs> So I want to see if season two actually did finish the job. I really do like the style they did with the white cases like uh, that. I just the pastels kind of look cool. I don't know I, if it suits the series. Though. I really like the style of the editions I have, but this actually looks more sturdy, which is rare to say that about an Aniplex title. But... <laughs> Net weight twenty ounces. Uh, <laughs> okay. I am, but you know, I gotten this on a whim, I believe, but. Mm -hmm. They had it on sale and I had to pick it up a while back. Mm. Something that was not on sale and something I had to save up for, mm. which was really expensive. Mm. But I wanted to collect every anime in this series, mm. which is sad because it, because a lot of the anime in this series sucks. <laughs> and that is the Persona Five animation. Ah. This was super freaking expensive. Mm. When I look at the box, it's actually somewhat thick. Mm -hmm. You know that they, they charged up the butt for that. Oh, I know. So, I think it was, what, what 400 bucks or something like that? That's been Ooh, a long boy. time. It's been a very long time. That's a lot more than I paid for um, the Persona uh, from the NIS. And that was expensive as all That's hell. way out of So, it's yeah. 880 minutes. I don't know all that's included. I'm hoping it's the series plus the um, mm -hmm. OVA. Um, I think it is. But I don't want to open it because I, I like to leave them closed until I watch them. Mm -hmm. And for some, I'm willing to do an unboxing. For these, you never know when you might need money later on down the road. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if I don't get to it, now, if I get to watching these, mm -hmm. then I can tell you right now, they're going to be opened. Mm -hmm. But until I do, mm -hmm. I'll leave these just in case. Because you mm -hmm. do never know when there might be a time when... <coughs> well, if it's that much when it was in print, <laughs> makes you wonder what will be out of print. Mm -hmm. I don't usually like the idea of doing that so the likelihood that these are going to do anything but be watched in my collection he knows uh is very low mm -hmm. but still just in case i mean i've got mm -hmm. stuff i'm going to be putting on ebay but you know it's not I like that to, i have so much stuff that needs i need to take oh, the amazing. time to make the accounts and i don't want to i really need to well the problem is i've got a lot of stuff i need to get like pictures of it yeah and then once I get the pictures, I'll put them in my computer, and I've got mm -hmm. a lot. But the way eBay is now, it's easier to sell than ever, because you can keep them all as long as you want, mm -hmm. and they don't charge you until it sells. And they mm -hmm. take it out of what you get from the sale. And they do take it out, though. They do take it out, but the uh, but that's why you've got to make sure that you sell it at a price that you're going to at least minimum include yeah. shipping. And uh, so. That opens up the... In the old ways, it was really hard to do a store because you're paying for every time you list it. Mm -hmm. But now you don't pay to list it. You pay after you sell it. So you can actually create right. an entire eBay store. Well, like I said, it's the taking the time to make the listings. That's oh, yeah. The, yeah. I've got several once I I've, need to make. Yeah, once I've got yeah. it, I'll probably have enough to do a small video store with. Yeah. And um, I mean, you can see like a list of mm -hmm. I mean, some of them over there. Hmm. Matter of fact, just as a bonus one, hmm. uh, I had to grab this. I wanted to grab that. I haven't yet. But... Because you've seen those two, right? Yeah. Not only is that more room, mm -hmm. but you're missing... You only got 51 episodes. Yeah. This has all 65. Very good. So, this is the first time it's complete. I want them to do this with DuckTales. Yeah. Because even though they have... They repackaged... 
all of the the I mean the, the yeah. DVDs in the movie together, mm -hmm. but it's still not the complete series. Yeah, and that pisses me off. Did they do that? They didn't do that with any of the others either, did they? What the? Uh... They really need to do that with Darkwing Duck if they haven't already. And no, they haven't probably... condensed it. I don't think they even did the whole and series think... with that one. Yeah, and I don't think they did with Tailspin either. No, they did finish Tailspin. Did they do it like that in the no. condensed version? No. That'd be nice. It's just like Gargoyles. They finished Gargoyles. They need to but, do uh, that with Gargoyles, yeah. But they, but they left it in the old format. I don't think they finished Darkwing Duck, though. I would get all of those series <laughs> in that format. Oh, yeah. That would be I'm ideal. This is very good. Yeah. And uh, I do look forward to re revisiting it again. Mm -hmm. um, it's just time. Yeah. Time, time, time. But let's... Right. I am going to uh, go ahead and wrap this up. Mm -hmm. But of course, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button, hit subscribe, mm -hmm. and share. But we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.